Talk about mergers. Uh, to what extent non-price aspects uh, bear on your analysis these, day, these days? And to what extent, say, um, privacy considerations come into play? So, um, a merger, what we're trying to look at is whether the combination of these two entities will diminish competition. So you have to look at the dimensions across which they compete. So often companies are competing on price. Uh, not to say price is easy to measure, but it's one of the easier easier uh, attributes to measure, but quality is also important. So to the extent entities are competing on those dimensions. So for example, uh, we have um, had concerns in hospital mergers about uh, two companies, uh, two hospitals want to merge, and they say, well, we're agreeing to a price cap. So you, you don't have to worry. And we say, well, but there could be a quality mm -hmm. impact too. And so we recently did a study to, to measure that with a merger we weren't able to undo. Uh, and we did find a, a negative impact uh, on quality. Uh, now turning to privacy, uh, if two companies are competing on their privacy uh, mm -hmm. you know, attributes, uh, then you might start to look at that as a competition issue. Uh, but if you're just saying, well, you know, one company is uh, merging with another company and they're combining their consumer information, that doesn't necessarily make it a competition issue. In fact, often we see combining complementary assets as right. an efficiency, right? So if they're able to create some you know, new innovative product or, or mm -hmm. some kind of efficiency, we would see that as a benefit. Uh, but that doesn't mean that privacy isn't an important factor. Mm -hmm. So for example, at the FTC when we reviewed the Facebook WhatsApp mm -hmm. merger, uh, we didn't see a competitive issue, uh, but we are also a consumer protection agency. And right. so we reminded them uh, that uh, uh, WhatsApp had collected uh, consumers' information under a certain set of promises. And if they were going to use that uh, information in a different way, they needed to get a new set of permissions from, from consumers. So the promises ran with, with the data. Uh, but again, it wasn't a competition issue. It was a consumer protection issue. So it's very important to say, well, what, what's the, uh, the concern here? Is it really a, a, a reduction in competition? Or is it something else, a, a promise that's not going to be adhered to? Or is there some kind of privacy harm that might uh, might happen, and that is, uh, I think, a, a core consumer protection issue, and that's the tool we should use.